Many people may believe that the self-timer on our camera is to allow the photographer to get in the shot they're taking, which I suppose it can be, although I don't think I've ever done that myself. Normally, the self-timer option is going to be found via a button press on the camera body and then a selection wheel or button to scroll through the options. Our wheel is the large one on the back. In most cameras, the default setting for the shutter will be a single shot, and we can see that usually shown to us on the top plate of our camera as a simple oblong icon. So as we frame up on our shot, we squeeze gently on the shutter button, and only one shot will fire. To fire again, we need to raise our finger and do the same again. The next option is likely to be the continuous setting, what we used to call motor drive back in our film days. And we just do the same here. Squeeze gently on the shutter button and the camera will fire continually until either we release the pressure or the camera has to stop to save the images. The next option is likely to be the self timer and each camera will give a slightly different time as a preset. Ours offers us two options, a three second delay and a 10 second delay. Now I've used the self timer quite a bit in those situations where I needed to steady the camera but I didn't have the tripod with me. Now quite often we'll be able to find a place to prop the camera into position. Our camera bag is a good example, and I've often used that. But we can often find some street furniture around which we may be able to prop the camera on. But maybe hitting the shutter button would cause camera shake. So the solution is to select the self-timer. Now the button can be gently pressed, and the self-timer will count down and fire the shutter for you with the camera completely still. In our case, either a three second delay or maybe a 10 second delay. If you set the self timer on your camera and you also have automatic exposure bracketing set up, see our video on this subject, the camera will automatically fire all three shots for you. Most cameras will give you either an audio beep as a countdown warning or maybe a flashing light on the body of the camera. Some photographers have invested in an interval timer. This one is called a remote timer controller as you can see on the body. And it connects to our cable release socket and operates the shutter regularly at set intervals that we have control over. So, by all means, use the self-timer to put yourself in the picture. But it's not its only use.